Let's go just a bit further to complicate it a little bit more, but to illustrate the use of a combination in a different scenario. Let's use the same uh, bag of eight marbles. So once again, we have eight marbles, three of which are red and five are white. So in this case, how many different draws would contain one red marble and two white marbles? So we want one red marble and we want two white marbles. So once again, this is a combination problem because uh, this draw would be just a group of marbles without regard to order. Like we have stated before in the first part of this problem, there's 56 possible draws. And of those draws, we want to know how many of them would have one red and two white. So first we need to determine N and R. Together, that would make up one draw. We are going to have to use the counting principle in this problem to help us out. Note how one draw, one draw of three marbles, is split into two parts, red and white. We cannot combine them together because we need a particular number for each one. So we will figure out how many ways to get one red marble and how many ways to get two white marbles and use the counting principle, we will multiply these numbers together to get our final possible outcomes, possible draws. So let's start out with one red. So N, in this case, would be the number of red marbles we can choose from. So in the bag, there's three red marbles. And R would be the number of red marbles we are drawing at a time. And in this draw, we want one red marble. So, plugging that in to the equations, we get n is equal to 3 and r is equal to 1. Simplify, that gives us 3, 2 factorial times 1 factorial. Now before we calculate this out, let's go ahead and just uh, look at the white scenario. Let's say we want two whites. So in this case, n is equal to to five because there's five white marbles in the bag and in this case we also want two of those two of the three that we choose to be white so R is equal to two so plugging that in to the equation we have n is equal to five and we have R is equal to two so to simplify that that's five factorial divided by three factorial times two factorial now to get the total number of possible draws that would contain one red and two white, we use the counting rule and multiply these two possibilities together to get the final value. So that would give us three factorial divided by two factorial times one factorial for our red scenario right here. Multiply that out by five factorial divided by three factorial times two factorial. And so we can just uh, use our calculator in this case would probably be the most simple way, but you simplifying each of these two simpler, more simple terms. So we got three over one, multiply by five times four, divided by two times one, and that equals 30. So out of the 56 possible draws that we determined in the first part, 30 of those would contain one red and two white marbles.